Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to look at a few things that cause failures in electronic circuits. Uh, right here, we have an electrolytic capacitor. And you can see where the electrolyte has leaked onto the board here and ate up this trace. Whenever you see something like this right here, that's telling us that we've got to replace this capacitor right here. And we'll go ahead and replace the capacitors on this entire board since they're all the same age. To repair this trace right here, I like to use a wire wrap wire because it's very thin. Right here's a spool of wire wrap wire. You can see that's a very, very thin wire right there. Next failure we're going to look at is short circuits in a semiconductor. This right here is a power transistor. And we put our meter in diode test. And we look at base collector is shorted. Base emitter shorted. Collector emitter shorted. This power transistor is shorted through and through. Now that's the usual way that a semiconductor will give up the ghost, is it'll short. Here's the resistor that was from the DC bus voltage to the collector of that shorted transistor. You can see where it pulled too much current through the resistor and blew out one end of it right here. Get on the tabs right there, get in ohms mode. And that 12.5 ohm resistor is opened up. Look right here. 12.5 ohms. That's the way power resistors fail. Too much current will be pulled through the resistance of this low ohm resistor and they will heat up at one point and fail at that point where it got too hot. It'll open up. The power resistors like to fail open. Just to recap what we discussed, capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, will leak and open up traces. Semiconductors will short and resistors will open. Those are the three types of failures that we have in front of us. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see you next time.